Melatonin is an absolute gem of an antioxidant. So whilst it helps us to stay asleep, the great benefit for those of us with RA is that it's anti-inflammatory. If we're not going to bed at around 10, 10, 30 or 11 latest, and we're going to bed later, it does have a negative impact on melatonin production. Melatonin also gets produced via the cellular response to near infrared radiation. When you are out in green space, I'm talking like a park, you're in a forest, you're walking on grass or near bushes and trees, these surfaces through ways that nature gives you goosebumps reflect near infrared radiation, but not UV. This means that you can walk in green space without getting sunburned and still absorb near infrared radiation. Near infrared radiation is then absorbed in the cells of your body, which are like the Lego blocks that build up your entire body, the organs, the bones, teeth, eyes, everything. They're all built out of cells. Your cells soak in this near infrared radiation and produce melatonin throughout the day. This doesn't put you to sleep or make you drowsy, yet it has an anti-inflammatory effect, which is why I believe a lot of the studies around what they call green space exposure, which is walking in parks and hikes outside, is associated with lower mortality and, and morbidity predictably for people who do that more often each 